Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today we're going to do an unboxing of Gord Reaper by Black Sight Studios. So let's get started. Any of you who have been watching my channel recently will probably have noticed that I have gotten myself involved in a game by Black Sight Studios. In fact, the very first game by Black Sight Studios called Don't Look Back. This is a slasher-inspired horror game based on those movies of the late 80s and uh, early 90s using a lot of the common expected tropes of those. By the time of the making of this video, which by the way is Halloween 2020, I have done a unboxing of this game. I have uh, done a um, Halloween special, which should have aired by now, uh, or will air tonight, uh, the night that I'm filming this. And um, I've also run two games for the club. The game has been very, very popular. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty quick to pick up and learn to play. Uh, and the support has been crazy. Uh, Black Sight Studios has put up uh, its own Facebook page for the game. They've been doing regularly uh, Twitch videos showing how the game is played. They've done some videos specifically on gameplay. They've done some videos that are the game being played and are also sort of hangout chat sessions. In fact, they've been a great way to learn how to play the game and about the game and when different projects are coming out. And that, those Twitch videos have been a lot of fun. I, I wasn't even familiar with Twitch previous to this. Uh, so that's all been uh, pretty, pretty well done. And the game has only been out for, what, two weeks? And, uh, well, it came out on the 15th, so uh, 15 days, 16 days. The game's been out for 16 days, and they already have their first three expansions out. And what we're going to do right now is an unboxing video of that third expansion, the Gord Reaper. So let's go to the unboxing table. See what we got here. It's amazing how quick they got this to me, um, or that they've been processing things in general. You know, I only have had the game for two weeks, including the first two expansions. Uh, this is the third expansion, which they only announced, what, a week ago, I think it was? Um, the uh, Black Sight Studios is going to have to start taking a break at some point. They're... Um, they clearly have no concern for a man's pocketbook. Uh, they've been coming out with stuff left and right. They keep adding to their game. Um, they just released this. Yesterday they released the killer models uh, by themselves as well as the two expansion packs. Like I said, I already had those because I bought the, uh, the set that had that. Um, there we go. It's got the uh, black paper that they are so very fond of, um, which for this game is just so incredibly fitting. Uh, there's the uh, VCR case. Uh, the Gord Reaper, pumpkin spice, not so nice. I like the clear uh, instead of the black ones. Uh, so it's got, as uh, the other ones did, it's got the, uh, it's got the card. This has um, jack-o'-lanterns, inspiration, investigate, and survive. This is the scenario that's specifically writ written for using the Gord Reaper. Uh, it's got a little bit of fluff on the back. Uh, I was watching one of the, um, the videos recently, and the writer of the game mentioned they usually hide his fluff from the game, so this is unusual. It's there because they now know they're somewhat successful. The Gord Reaper's name was said three times in three different mirrors in three different houses on All Hallows Eve. It's now bound to this neighborhood. Now you have to destroy his soul pumpkins before his grim harvest continues. Soul light, soul bright, his soul is bound on Hallows Eve night. I probably shouldn't have just said that. I'm... So it comes with uh, the light tokens. And it comes with more because this one's designed to take place in suburbia. So there's street lights. These are going to be the soul pumpkins. Oh, and the figure. What am I thinking? So it comes with a 32 millimeter base and a couple little of the 25s for the soul pumpkins. There's four of the soul pumpkin bases. And... Now let's take a look at the big guy. Uh, 
And then we have Let's see if I can get this to show up here. Can you see that? Probably not. <laughs> Here's one of the soul pumpkins. Um, there's four of these little soul pumpkins. And these basically, as I understand it, fill the need or, or replace uh, the fright tokens, or not the fright tokens, the interest tokens in the game. Uh, and then there's the figure himself. And he's multi-parted part. Um, there's some gravestones, which look like they probably are details for the base. Uh, there's uh, a pumpkin that's his head. Uh, there's the body itself. Um, and there's and there's this big scythe, which is his weapon. Are there arms in here? Where does, where does his arms go? Yeah, I think these two things that I thought were cloth are his arms. Complicated. Uh, like usual, it's they're very well sculpted. They're very clean uh, resin. Uh, that seems to be. I'm new to um, figures from uh, Blackside Studios. Actually, isn't everybody? Blackside Studios is relatively new when it comes to uh, figure manufacture. They've started. They have a line of um, Blade Runner-ish figures. Well, those are actually pretty nice themselves. Uh, so there's the package on the back. It says, uh, has that soul light, soul bright again. Uh, new killer expansion brought forth by a kid's game on Halloween. The Gord Reaper is here to play. With its soul bound to some of the jack-o'-lanterns around the neighborhood, the teens are racing against the dawn to smash it before the Gord Reaper's manifestation becomes permanent. You'd have to be out of your gourd to miss this fall hit. What a lot of fun. This, is, this game's been a lot of fun. So there it is, the Gord Reaper. What a lot of fun. This is a, a very clever killer. It's, it's, it's gonna give a real difference to the game for the, from what they've done before. Uh, great for their ethereal killer in the game. The, the, the killers they've produced so far, there's been the generic killer. He's the various parts you put them together to make him uh, who you wanna be, but it's your typical slasher. He's armed with a, a knife or an ax or a sledgehammer. Uh, then they came out with Boxcar Willie, and he's your chainsaw-wielding, uh, mutilated madman. And then they did Three Aliens, which is a distinct different feel from the rest of the game. And this has gone in that same vein. This is very uh, ethereal. It's very Halloween-y, less slasher. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. It's a shame I got it on Halloween. Uh, it's clearly a great game for running, and I will run it next year. Uh, so it'll be a lot of fun for that. And some people, I'm no doubt, are running it tonight. But our Halloween game for the Williamsburg Legata was last Thursday. So I missed it just by a couple days. So um, what a lot of fun. What a great job by um, Black Sight Studios. I, I hope they continue to support this game. Maybe a little slower than they are now, which is going to be pretty hard on my pocketbook if they keep this rate of rate of speed up. But it's a great game, very well supported, a lot of fun. I really recommend giving it a try if you get a chance. If you haven't, you might want to take the time to see the gameplay video we did here. Uh, you can find that right here. And um, if you uh, have this product yourself or you are fond of this game, uh, and want to write, make any comments about that, go ahead and do that down below. Or if you have any questions about the game, I can do what I can to answer those. If you have any idea for further content you'd like to see here on Cry Havoc Wargaming, go ahead and put that in the comments down below as well. If you've enjoyed this video and if you found it of any use, please hit like. And if you'd like to continue to get notifications of further videos that might help you decide how to better spend your resources, either time or money, on your gaming uh, hobby, then go ahead and hit subscribe. Till next time, cheers.